not only is, is public speaking hard, but you guys have the hardest job because you have to give one every day. <laughs> Can't be the same talk, you know, back to back days. Um, and your audience is from you know, five to 99 years old, all different levels of kind of where they're at in their journey, in their faith. Like, okay, craft a message that speaks to everybody. Almost impossible. I was drafted in 1998 in the sixth round by the Minnesota Vikings, which was a big thrill for me because I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. I was, attended Harvard University, which isn't exactly known as a football powerhouse. And so just an opportunity to play in the NFL uh, was, was really all I could ask for. I grew up right pretty close to here, St. Paul Seminary, just down the street at Stanford and Creighton Avenue, went to Nativity Grade School, Creighton Durham Hall High School. Uh, you know, my whole life was in about a two mile radius here in St. Paul, but a couple things growing up were really important to us or my family. One was one was the faith. Uh, so I went to the, just walk to school every day up the hill to the nativity and uh, went to mass every Sunday there. And, and then sports, two younger brothers, but we're pretty close in age and tons of kids in the neighborhood. We were always outside playing something, playing football in the street or baseball in the yard or basketball in the alleyway, shooting at people's garages, they had hoops up. You know, sports was just a huge part of of, of my upbringing and um, played every sport, wasn't any good at any of them. So that's why I became a lineman. And because uh, if you're not any good at sports, you become a lineman, which, uh, which I did. And then um, actually didn't play football until uh, the 10th grade. And uh, when I got to the 10th grade and went out for football, I discovered two of the gifts that God gave me, which were getting in people's way and grabbing onto them, which are good uh, good skills to have if you're going to be an offensive lineman. You know, kind of skip to the end, I, I ended up being drafted by the Minnesota Vikings, my hometown team in, in 1998, which which was a great year for the Vikings and until the very end, but um, like all Viking seasons. But played for the Vikings for 11 years and then played four years in Baltimore for the Ravens and was fortunate enough my last year in 2012 to win the Super Bowl. and. Uh, now my wife and eight kids, we, we live back here in the Twin Cities. So did you ever think that you would be teaching at a seminary? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, of course. I was like, the seminary is going to want me to, to come teach for sure. Uh, no, never, never, never in a, in a million years. Oh, there's tons of truths in sports that relate to the faith. I mean, you know, for sports, particularly I can speak to football, but it's, it's universal. Um, sacrifice, commitment, suffering. Yeah, you play football. There's there's a lot of suffering that goes on, but then there's that common suffering. You know, football you practice 95 percent of the time. You only have a few games every year. The rest of the year is is suffering. Um, but that common suffering that's what brings people together. Delaying gratification, uh, doing it when you don't feel like it, all those things. Being there for others. You know, if you play a team sport and you don't show up, you let everybody else down. You know, as athletes, we're supposed to be there for our brothers and sisters, and who are our brothers and sisters? Everybody. Um, so there's tons of there's tons of parallels. You know, it's just incredible. This this past fall, uh, I did five sessions with uh, with the fourth years, and people always ask, "Well, what's it what's it like? What are, like? what are these guys like?" So impressive, like such an impressive group of men. These guys are so on it, like they're on time. They're sitting down, they don't have their phones out. They're like 100% engaged in what you're talking about. You ask questions, they give back thoughtful answers or feedback. It was just, um, it was just incredible. I don't know, hopefully the guys got something out of it. I got a ton out of it. Yeah, I mean, we talk about passionate preacher or public speaking presentation skills, you know, just, just the skills. Because as a priest, that's that's a big part of your, of your ministry. You're gonna be given a homily every day and uh, homilies matter. You know, they, they, they matter. What we covered was the fundamentals of public speaking, because they say public speaking, you know, more people are afraid of speaking in public than dying. It's the number one thing people are afraid of. So here, let's let's give you some fundamentals, some tools. But then it was the thing that I kept stressing over and over was, it's not about doing it exactly like this person or this person or this person. It's like golf. You've got to find a swing that works for you. But probably the biggest thing is like, the future of our church is bright. You know, these guys are just, they're, they're impressive 
holy men. And I'm excited that this is the next, this is the, the draft class, if you will, to put it in football terms uh, of our church, uh, because these there's gonna be some stud rookies out there. And so, um, you know, it's really a, a, a spiritually edifying experience for me to, to be here and work with those guys.